acknowledge Blackbeard, no doubt. So right here on this same street, it says John F. Tompkins, agricultural reformer and founder of the State Fair, published and edited the Farmer's Journal, 1852-1853, in Bath. This was his home. So this is the guy that started the State Fair in North Carolina. I've been to the State Fair in Raleigh. It was built 1830. And it's saying it's the church office. There's all kinds of markers. Let's go see another one. It says, Alexander Stewart, Anglican minister to North Carolina, 1753 to 1771, served parish of St. Thomas and as a chaplain to Governor Arthur Dobbs. We have Dobbs Farm in Kinston. Erected first Glebe House on record in the colony. I'm not sure what a Glebe House is. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Alexander Stewart. So is this him? No, this is different family plots. So this says, John Garcia, Anglican minister born in Spain, served parish 1733-1744 in spite of difficulties inherent to the life in colonial North Carolina. So they're saying he worked for 10 years here, even though it was hard. And this is the oldest church building in the state of North Carolina. It was constructed in 1734. So 1734, 1834, 1934, 2034, won't be long, this church will be 300 years old. And it says right on the top of it, 1734, St. Thomas Church. And I, again, I know you Europeans are laughing, but for us Americans, that is a very old building right there. So let's see if it happens to be open where we can walk in. And they're still burying people here. And those kinds of graves are interesting where it's got the concrete over the top. See all different kinds. It says Thomas Boyd, born March 7th, 1774, died near Long Acre Bridge, Beaufort, North Carolina, January 3rd, 1864. He was an honest man. The sweet remembrance of the just shall flourish when he sleeps in fist and fist and look at where people have carved their initials and stuff in these in these uh, bricks Bath Church 1705 or it says Bath 1705 Church 1734 this tablet was erected by William Walling Esquire 1871 in memory of John Lawson Joel Martin and Simon Alderson founders of the Bath Town year of 1706 so are they digging this out to put these in, or is, is he buried under the church? I don't know. So the church is unlocked. This, friends, has been here for almost 300 years. And look, they have a nativity scene because it is Christmas. And they have the um, poinsettias. Look at that baby Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to come here today. And I ask you for blessings on my friends that watch these things and that want to learn about history but also want to know about you. So, friends, there is a camera in here, so don't anybody get the wise idea of coming in here and doing damage. You can see the camera there. Now, back in those days, there were slaves. The slaves would have sat up there. Up those stairs. You see how little that is. But wow, 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 what a beautiful place. 
Lord, I'm thankful for this place. I'm thankful that um, they have taken good care of this so that we can enjoy it all these years later. So I'm going to make a donation. Anytime you come to a place like this and you can donate to help keep it keep it going, you should. 12, 26. is not the best. Yep, here's a little Tennessee. So I'm going to let the next person flip it so they can see that people did write in it. It says, we are not only North Carolina's oldest church, we are also a vibrant worshiping community. Sunday mornings at 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock as well. Coffee hour. Um, exactly after and this is from today so they had church in here today friends still going yes Jesus there is a remnant if you don't know what that is friends look it up the Bible says there will always be a remnant now I want to show you something interesting look at this they would stick a piece of wood in there and lock it here, and this is made into the stone. And then they could put a lock on the top of that to keep it safe when they were not using these kinds of locks. So when I say this is old school, I'm telling you, it is old school. And that says 16th century stone bust originally on Freeze of Longleaf House, home of Marquess of Bath. What Shire England presented to Reverend No in 1858. And that's ballast rock. So this was on top of a house and came from England. And they donated it and they put it here, which is pretty cool. I like this stuff a lot. Yes, I do. See, so they were buried in, eight, in 1958, 53, so 1985. So this building is way behind the church and it's got a marker on it. So I was going to see what this says. It says, on the 18th day of April 2012, the Right Reverend Clifton Daniel III consecrated this building as the Harding Chapel for all ages. The Civil War era building was formerly attached to the east end of the church and served as a vestry meeting room and bell tower, as well as storage for communion vessels and the priest's vestment. It was moved during the restoration in the 1830s. The building was restored in 1997 through gifts received from all those people. I'm sure it's locked. They need to... Well, actually, it's not locked. Hmm. Interesting. But it needs a little TLC, it looks like. But this is old school. This is original. Yeah. This old chair. And the bell tower was up there. Now... I'm going to show you the bell. Come over here and check it out. And there's the church. So it was at one time was hooked to the church, so they had a bell. So I'm going to show you this. It says this, this bell 
known as the Queen Anne as cast in England in 1873 and recast in Troy, New York in 1872 is said to have been purchased with funds from the Queen Anne's bounty and has been in continuous use through the years. At first I understood this wrong. I thought it was Queen Anne's Revenge, which was Blackbeard's ship. It was not. It was a British ship. Now I am going to ring the bell for you. So it said cast and recast. What that means is cast, they used it until it could not be used any longer. Then they took the metal and melted it down and recast it into this bell. Amazing. <laughs> This is a place that just keeps on giving. And somebody's burning, burning leaves. This is the gift that keeps on giving right here, friends. So they have a new church building or newer church building over here. Or I think maybe they're still having church here, but they're, um, they have places over here for uh, meetings and and uh, things that they can can do after. Love it. So this is the library. It was dedicated in 1976, so this is not a new building, although they built it to look like a new building. And it is right by the oldest church. Well, they built it to look like an old building. Beautiful. So a while ago, I said I didn't know what the Glebe house is, but this is the Glebe house that the guy built. Huh. So there's the oldest church right there. And I am cruising through here. So that bell was purchased with money from Queen Anne's bounty which was a British ship. Blackbeard named his ship Queen Anne's Revenge because he was fighting against it. Yes, he was. So this is just a beautiful little place down here. If you get a chance to come, there's bed and breakfasts, or bed and break pie. There's shops historical things. There's a lot of cool stuff here. I wish I had more time to explore, but I am on a quest for something very specific that I'm trying to finish. Actually, two stories that are out in this area, so I decided to stop here while I was going. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe. You give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and watch the weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.